beautiful soul family it's Brian here thank you for joining me today if you're new to my channel welcome to readings with Brian so again I wanted to continue to do a few kind of true crime or unsolved mysteries for the month of October here and I've had one that's been requested a couple times I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one uh, but today we're going to be doing a tarot card pull on Jack the Ripper <laughs> Now, Jack the Ripper was an unidentified serial killer, um, and this mystery goes back to the late 1800s, where he brutally murdered at least five women um, down again in the districts of London. So there's a lot of different theories about Jack the Ripper. He has never been identified as far as I know, I think I read a recent article that there were some kind of findings of his DNA, but I don't know how authentic that was. So you guys will have to let me know. Now, Jack the Ripper is definitely up there in terms of one of the most famous unsolved mysteries out there. And I wanted to pull the tarot today on one of the probably bigger conspiracy theories pertaining to was Jack the Ripper a royal member. Now I have not personally went too far down the rabbit hole when it comes to this whole Jack the Ripper case so you guys will have to let me know um, but we're gonna pull the tarot today and look into that possibility like is there energy to support that Jack the Ripper was royal. Now again you guys this is all just an energy read and tarot pull but we're gonna get right into it and see what other messages and where where does this lead? Where does the tarot lead us with the Jack the Ripper? All right, lovely little family. Let's see what we have when we come when it comes to Jack the Ripper. Now, again, I've skimmed through a few articles, but you guys will have to keep me posted. I, I don't know all the details about this case. From what I read, um, from my understanding, he brutally murdered five women, possibly more. I believe they were all um, sex workers. I think all of them were all but one. So what's going on with this, with this mystery and unsolved crime here? Who was Jack the Ripper? Let's pull some energy, a few cards on his energy. Who was Jack the Ripper? What's going on? Who was Jack the Ripper? Spirit? What's the momentum and energy for Jack the Ripper? Well, let's just take a look at his um, his energy. Okay, so the Empress. Uh, these are a bit of a new deck, you guys, so you might have to bear with me here a little bit. Um, suit of Pentacles. Sorry, Six of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Um, nine of Wands. Got all reversals here so far. And Four of Pentacles energy. So let's just look at kind of what's coming out in his energy. Back of the deck is the Eight of Swords. So oh, definitely feels like a bit of a rough relationship with possibly his mother here, which is I'm wondering where some of that issues with this whole situation stem from. Um, Six of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, yeah, not getting, the, it, it seems like quite a toxic childhood that he grew up in with this, with this energy. So if we kind of dissect this a little bit more, so we've got lots of negligence happening here with the Empress in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse, again, very much, um, very much an energy of greed it's kind of like an abuse of power here 
abuse of power. I'm almost wondering, there is a little bit of that royal energy with that empress, which is quite interesting. So we'll have to, you know, dig into that shortly here. But the look at all the pentacles, you guys. It's almost very bizarre here. Um, no cups, there's no sympathy. Definitely, definitely a big abuse of power here. I, uh, hmm, interesting. I wonder if he was of some importance. I don't know if he was a royal figure here, but it does feel like he's more than just your regular Joe. I feel like he was very much with this pentacle energy, very much and an abuse of power. So let's keep going here. We have, okay, nine of pentacles. So nine of pentacles in reverse. This is also the energy of sex trafficking. Um, interesting. Okay. This is shady, 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 you guys. Uh, and then we also have the card of nine, I think nine of wands. So nine of wands in reverse and four of pentacles upright. So this is showing a crap ton of abuse and a crap ton of, um, with the nine, uh, nine of wands in reverse, it I'm hearing arrogant, like stubborn and arrogant is, a, but it's almost like he's trying to protect, protect and like, if you're hearing like protect a secret. When I was um, shuffling, I had a 10 of, uh, a 10 of cups in reverse that caught my eye and the 10 of cups in reverse is family secrets as well. So I feel like there's very much a secret that he's trying to kind of hold on to. Kind of interesting the eight of swords eight of swords look at look at this one with all the women um kind of bound and tied up here isolation abandonment restriction here he definitely i feel like was not treated well as a kid there was lots of neglect here and he has this overall hatred for women is what it feels like obviously if we look at the crimes he committed but I've not seen like what the secret is. Is the secret maybe he is royal? I I don't know. Maybe there was a two part um, process or a two part thing going on. Was there somebody he was working with in the backgrounds? Uh, okay, well, let's just see what else we can get here before King of Wands. Look at all this male energy. Let's see here. Five of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse. This is like, oh my goodness. This is like starting to give me like sacrificing vibes now. Oh my gosh. Okay. And uh, I mean, I won't try to get too much in detail. The star in reverse here. Despair. Um, it's almost kind of like I'm getting a two part thing. Now this is might sound a little bit hmm, let's see. Okay, I'm kind of getting a lot of like different things here. Now, I feel like his father was absent here with this it's King of Swords in reverse over the Six of Pentacles. So to start off, his childhood growing up was awful from what it feels like here. Um, now the Empress, oh, okay, the Empress in reverse, I'm wondering, I got two kind of vibes with the Four of Swords here. I feel like this is almost, you guys, an energy of coming out of the closet here. I'm wondering if he was attracted to the same sex, but back in that day, he would have like, that's definitely not something that could have come out. And I keep seeing that 10 of cups. We don't have it on the table now, but we have. I had that 10 of cups that caught my eye when I was shuffling and it was in reverse and that's like family secrets. So it's like something he's wanting to keep secret here. Four of pentacles. He's holding something close to him that he doesn't want to get out here. But there's also way more to it than that. Now, I'm wondering, okay, if all these women, he definitely, the Empress in reverse is also, um, it, it's, it's a lot of neglect here, okay? A lot of ne neglect and insecurities when I feel like it comes to him and his mother, maybe. Um, 
And I'm wondering if there was some kind of abuse here from the mother or the fact that he, see, I'm trying to like connect the dots in terms of like what, okay, if for example, he was gay here and he couldn't, that couldn't come out, then why did that lead to him murdering women? He definitely had, I feel like a hatred for women, but I'm wondering how involved his mom was with that situation. Was she also a sex worker with the Empress in reverse? That kind of makes me wonder if maybe this is, this is, you know, pursuing maybe lots of different partners as well. Um, yeah, sleeping around. Look at the bed. Was the mother sleep? Oh my goodness. Like there's so much. I don't know, you guys. You guys all have to let me know. Sorry, this is like an information overload here. And that's what Four of Swords also is, an information overload, a mental overload here. But I feel like part of this could be his mother I think his mother might have been a, I don't know if she was a, a madam or if she was part of a, like a sex worker here. And that's where his stemming came from because I believe all his victims were also sex workers, right? Um, interesting. And then his father wasn't present here. Definitely not. King of Swords in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse. And then on top of that, we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have a Knight of Wands in reverse. I do think, hey, there was some theories of whether or not this, that Jack the Ripper was a doctor or some, you know, some um, somewhere along the lines of a doctor, let's say. And it actually wouldn't surprise me if he was. I do feel like with all these pentacles, um, he does have like an abuse. He's like abusing his power. So I feel like he's kind of a lots of arrogance um lots of abuse of power here with the knight of wands in reverse uh i'm wondering though did he actually see this is what's weird though because with the nine of pentacles in reverse it, it is the energy of it's kind of like a, a, a scam like <sighs> hmm exploitation as well so did he actually sleep like did he sleep with these women and then did he murder them you know what i mean i i almost get the fact that he may not be attracted to females like he has a full-on hatred for females here now it kind of like gets even darker though because oh, we look at the energy here and we have this is like sacrifice here and we with the hierophant look at this there were reports of him like the reason why there was speculation that maybe he was a doctor is because the fact that there were certain organs cut out there was certain work done or these poor women were mutilated and the work was pretty interesting. I'll just say that apparently. I mean, I'm not going to be posting anything here. You guys can do your own research on it. But like, yeah, Eight of Swords as well, them being trapped, tied into a corner here. And it's like an energy of also them being sacrificed. So this is a weird reading. Um, <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, I'm not getting a, well, we do have the Empress here, but now, does this involve, does this have anything to do with him being a royal? Like, was he a, actually a royal figure here? There was definitely speculation about. Okay, so the theory is that Prince Albert could potentially be Jack the Ripper. So that was one of the theories. And with this energy, ah, you know what? It's again this is all alleged this is just based off the tarot but it's it could be um it could be a possibility here and from pulling tarot spreads from the royal families from centuries and centuries and hundreds of years ago there's lots of sacrifice lots of crazy things that go on behind the scenes so it's kind of feels like a two-part thing what i got from his energy is big hatred for women possibility i feel like he was also maybe uh maybe coming trying to come out of the closet or he has some secrets pertaining to that that he was trying to keep on the you know keep under wraps um 
and that's that's the energy that's coming out so i don't know you guys let me know what you think it's kind of a this is a bizarre one <laughs> all right so let's see then what are the energies and what's the potential of jack the ripper being linked to prince albert was prince albert jack the ripper what's the energy of this shocking claim what's the energy of it spirit what do we have um what is this one eight of wands eight of wands but in reverse um we have the ace of cups let's do this one the star in reverse <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune in reverse. King of Swords in the outcome. Uh, King of Wands. And we also have Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Back of the deck, we have the Strength God in reverse. So, huh. The fact that we have, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse here, but we have the Ace of Cups over the situation, and then we have the King of Swords over the outcome. There's definitely a possibility that this could support that crazy speculation, um, but there's also a bit of an energy of he could have been working with some of the royals or higher ups in terms of some kind of weird sacrifice or weird agreement because the eight of wands in reverse is a slow movement okay it's a slower movement it's delayed it's like there's there's a big karmic energy with this guy here this is unfinished business if there ever was one so i'm curious almost is he incarnated in like has he reincarnated i'm gonna ask that after because Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you guys, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is unfinished business. So, <sighs> hmm, interesting. And we have the Star in reverse. So this is despair, unwelcome change. This is external forces and absolute upheaval and disorder here. So I wouldn't be surprised if he had some connections. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Wands. So lots of people, lots of kings, lots of knights here. So with that being said, it does have an energy to support the possibility that he could he could be linked to a royal lineage here. Um, let's see if we can pull a few more cards on that and get some clarifiers what is the energy of jack the ripper being a royal member was he um albert prince was he prince albert victor knight of swords you guys seven of pentacles in reverse there's that four of pentacles again, nine of pentacles and the seven of swords. So, ooh, weird. Um, I feel like he was working with royal members for sure. Whether or not he was one, I kind of feel more along the lines that he could have actually been maybe a higher, maybe he was a higher up doctor and he was working on the side with some kind of higher ups or royal figures here because it feels like something's not working here, but he's also working together on some, this is bad business deals, right? So Knight of Swords, lots of royal energy, but I don't know if I'm feeling that he's necessarily royal. I feel like he's just working together alongside with them is what it feels like. Um, let's ask the question, was he, was he a doctor and was he just working alongside of them to work on certain sacrifices or whatever it is he had some weird deals with um okay was jack the ripper a doctor 
Was he supposedly a doctor or some kind of a surgeon? Was Jack the Ripper a doctor or a surgeon? We have the Hierophant. Um, the Eight of... Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this card. He's sawing off... What? Sawing off her arm. And... He dismembered, I believe, some of these women as well. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. Or sorry, Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles, yes. And then we have the Sun in reverse as well. The Moon. All right. So, yeah, it feels like more in terms of him working with them. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a doctor with this energy and he was working alongside on some you know gross sacrifices and that was kind of thing here that's that's the energy that's coming out it feels like some shady business deals i mean beyond shady but i'll just say that beyond shady business deals with with potential royal members here because i think some of the the speculation that came from that as well is like the queen uh, or not the queen um it was what princess no, sorry, correction again. Queen Victoria did take some interest in this case, which was kind of like, you know, kind of weird. Like, why would she be interested in this case? I mean, again, I didn't fully read it in in detail. So you guys will have to, you know, pipe in down below if maybe I got something incorrect here. But with, with the energy, that's quite crazy. Um, it looks like lots of neglect and abuse as he was a child. I wouldn't be surprised if his mother was also in the sex trade business and he had some animosity towards her horrible relationship and like kind of kind of went on his his spree there like that eight of so I believe this eight of swords I didn't use this deck but this eight of swords came out a few times so definitely some mental issues going on within Jack the Ripper. Um, but I do feel like he was working alongside with, um, with some other figures, some high, maybe political figures or royal figures, but I don't see necessarily that he was one. Not that I can see here. It looks like it's more like he's working to, with them, but okay. I am curious with all that the wheel the wheel of fortune in reverse we have a lot of energy in reverse to show this is a big karmic situation has jack the ripper been reincarnated is jack the ripper reincarnated is his reincarnation alive today let's see what comes out here the hierophant again king of swords and the three of cups so it looks like it you guys um seven of pentacles it's like he's come back to i don't know maybe redeem himself i don't know to work out some more karmic stuff i would you know what's interesting i wouldn't be surprised if he's reincarnated in a royal family now so you guys will have to let me know what you think um yeah i i do think he could potentially be reincarnated in as maybe uh, another higher higher authority figure or a possible royal with that king of swords so that's what i have um i hope you guys kind of enjoyed that little tarot pull i'm sending you guys lots of love and light and until next time bye for now and my october spooky special is still on for the next two weeks for the month of october get your mini tarot readings today for only 13 dollars and 13 cents so book now at readingswithbrand.com for some spooky accurate tarot readings until next time guys bye for now